Over two years, over two years finally, when Red stabbed you in the back. And because of that, later on you lost the world championship. All because of Amazing Red. Because he was selfish. He couldn't stand the fact that you were the guy. You were the man. You were the world champion. And he couldn't stand that. So he stabbed you in the back. And what happened afterwards? You got lost. But then I found you again. My greatest creation. The firstborn. Smiley was created by me. A weapon by me. And now, Amazing Red, you have to face him for the world championship again. But this time, Smiley is gonna come out as champion. And after he comes out as champion, after he gets his retribution, he and I are gonna have a little conversation on what happens to that world championship. So Amazing Red, be ready. This is a lot of hurt and pain that Smiley's in right now. It's all gonna be better when he beats you for that world title. to both men for a title that both men have held in a story that is nearly three years in the making. The Amazing Red and Smiley finally face off one-on-one. -on -one. This is a moment that burns in both of their memories. And I'm afraid for the Amazing Red. Anthony Gangone, the brilliant negotiator that he is, is the reason why we're here. Amazing Red's daughter held hostage at Kicking It Old School when we were last at the NYC Arena and coaxed the Amazing Red into this title fight tonight with Smiley. He certainly did, but let's go back. Let's go back to Civil War. Let's go back to the cage match between the Amazing Red and Brian XL when the Amazing Red turned on Smiley. For Smiley, this is just his comeuppance. This is his chance to right a wrong that was done to him by a father figure. And look at this, Smiley going in for a hug. Maybe all is forgiven. <laughs> Good. Nothing forgiving about that right hand by Smiley. Quickly on the attack. Oh, 
Brings Red down. Amazing Red obviously having the experience advantage. But Smiley may have the, he's got the size and strength advantage. Tilt a whirl, it's his takeover. Beautifully done by the champion, blocks that right hand. Big spinning kick to the midsection. Basement drop kick. Smiley rolls to the outside, Red quick on the attack. Suicide dive, nearly jumps right into the first row. Everything the Amazing Red does gets him closer. Oh my gosh, Shapiro. Drop kick to the back of the head. Look at this, right in front of us, nearly taking apart the barricade. Have you ever seen Red this enraged? It is an intensity. This is something that the Amazing Red has had in his mind for over two months, ever since he saw his daughter. His little baby girl in the most precarious situation she could ever be in. Red, the consummate professional that he is, asking everybody in the first row if they're okay. Maybe he should have thought of that before diving through the ropes. Smart move by Smiley. Take us back, Shapiro. Tell the audience at home watching on YouTube. Why did Red backstab Smiley? What was the reason? There, a lot of people say jealousy. A lot of people saw Smiley as the future. And look, and Smiley. Did he just, he's wearing a different face now. Oh my God. He was trying to reason with Red, maybe trying to play to his sentimentality. And that has been Red's weakness. And that's his emotions. A man of many faces here, Smiley. Red just ripped off that mask. We saw every evolutionary stage of Smiley. This is his final form. The devil's advocate. One of Anthony Gangone's chosen sons. Rolls through cover. Suplex there, cover, not even a one count. And Gangone recently said via our YouTube channel that he's prepared Smiley for this night. And that Smiley will take down Red once and for all. When Gangone says that, it is, it is not hyperbole. It is not athletes hyping up a fight. It's not pro wrestler talk. That is someone speaking directly and plainly to you, telling you that that is the way it's going to be. And we're seeing that right now. And the way it's gonna be is Red on the defensive as his shoulder went right into that cold, unforgiving steel. Choking him out on the top. Oh my God, Red bounced off the hardwood floor right in front of us. And a human body is not meant to take impact like that. Quick fall, bad landing. Thank Only God those mats were there, Shapiro. But just like Shapiro had mentioned earlier, those mats are barely an inch thick. There's not much padding there. It, it does enough to basically not cripple you. And, and even then, it's a little up in the air. Red gets that right hand, no disqualification, as David Adams mentioned right before the start of this match. Anything and everything can happen in this match. Oh my God, right into the steel post again. Luis Zeno Jr.'s job is essentially window dressing. All he needs to do is ring the bell, call for the submission, or call for the pinfall. Smiley would love to regain that House of Glory World Championship. His last reign, Shapiro lasted 232 days. That's House of Glory World Champion. And it ended against current WWE star EC3. This building has a lot of memories for Smiley. And if you go 100 yards to your left at the original Queensboro Elks Lodge, that's where the Amazing Red made his name. That building is that is what established a legacy that is House of Glory. And right now, right next door, Smiley and the House of Gangone are looking to end that legacy. Smiley now has Red right where he wants him. Like Shapiro said, no DQ. We could see literally anything here tonight at the Elks Lodge with the House of Glory World Championship on the line. Nobody knows what both of these men would do. But Shapiro, JD. At that title. But Shapiro, JD, is this match even about the title? 
The title's on the line, but is it even about the title? It's, there are two things on the line here. The price of the Amazing Red Soul is the House of Glory world title. It's the biggest representation of this company in the Amazing Red who brought this company into existence, who trained nearly every single person who has walked in the House of Glory. That title is a symbol. And that symbol is important for the House of Gangone, for them to take control of it, for them to hold it in their hands. That is just as important as ending the career of the Amazing Red. Both carry Red's legacy. Both are things that Either way, at the end of the tonight, that Smiley will be holding in his hands. It's amazing. We've seen Red battle through Zack Sabre Jr., Ricochet, Michael Elgin, and it's unbelievable how Smiley right now is dictating the pace of this match. This is very uncharacteristic of Red to be on the mat as much as he has tonight, Shapiro. Well, that's what happens when you face off against your students. You may not have taught them everything you know, but they see you every day. They see you working out. They see the personal problems you go through. They see every aspect of the human being, and they can use that to your advantage like we saw kicking at old school. They found a weakness. It was Amazing Red's daughter. They broke Red down. He may not be mentally into this match right now. Big single leg drop kick there. Hung up in those ropes. Smiley quick to cover. Doesn't hook the leg though. Red powers out, gets that left shoulder up. I get the bravado, I get the idea of establishing dominance and establishing territory, but you gotta go to hook the leg here. I, I want Smiley to win this match. I want the House of Game going to have the House of Glory world title. I will say it and I mean it. But if they're gonna beat the Amazing Red, you can't beat them like that. Look at that abdominal stretch there. After all the damage that Smiley has done tonight, that has to be excruciating as he bends the fingers back. In the process. Red is in a world of hurt right now. Trying to fight out with those elbows. Going right into the point of the hip. Right into that joint to break it out. If you ever had hip pain, you know how debilitating that can be. And now there's Spear right there. As Red is hung up in the ropes. Smiley as vicious as ever. And he speared him right through the ropes as both men fall to the outside. Right in front of the House of Glory faithful here at the Elks Lodge. There is no give to this floor. It is a hard wood floor. And if you bounce off of it, you are going to feel like you hit concrete. Smiley has taken this lively crowd all night completely out of the building. You can feel the energy dissipate. Sucked out, it's been sucked out, It's yes. like when you're a po punching him with a Smiley shirt over his face. It's, it's like when, you play in a po when you're playing in the playoffs in hockey and you're at home and the opposing team scores a goal in the first 30 seconds. It takes all the energy out of the room. And right, right now, you can feel that hollowness. Like those hollow chops from Red. Trying to fight back the best he can is Red. Oh my God. Went into the steel a few times tonight. He inadvertently knife edge chops that cold, unforgiving steel. And Smiley quick on the attack as he's been all night. Look at that. Look at that innovation there. Wrapping Red up as if he's an anti ant pretzel. Red centered right in the middle of that ring, nowhere for him to go. This crowd looking to take control right now, trying to, trying to get Red going, but Red is... Smiley let go of the hold for some reason. Straight right hand, he's back's Red in the corner. Irish whip, send them across. Full head of steam, meets a big boot, red up to the second turnbuckle. Look at that! Big flatliner off that second turnbuckle. And Smiley thought he was near the ropes, he was nowhere near. His depth perception may be way off right now. May have been a desperation, high-risk offensive move there for Red. Just to give himself some breathing room, he's been on the defensive the majority of this match tonight. 
Back to his feet. Both men back to their feet. Red now, the heart and soul of House of Glory, fighting. Rolls through, Smiley misses that clothesline, step up in Siguri. Red feeling it now, that adrenaline pumping through those veins. Big missile drop kick in the corner. Smiley out. Up and over, tilt the world, DDT. Red quick to cover. That outside shoulder was up just enough to get the kick out. That is the first big offensive burst we've seen from Amazing Red all night. He's gotta keep that momentum going. He cannot stop. Smiley on Dream Street. Props himself up in the corner. Red follows through. Big forearm. Irish whip. Red up and over. Beautiful move by Smiley. Great ring awareness there. Rolls through. Covers him. Got the shoulders pinned. Ooh, two count only. That was almost like a hug. Vaguely paternal. I may not be a psychiatrist, but there was something to that and A wise attempt by Smiley, but not enough to get the three count. Who knows what Smiley's thinking right now, that sick, demented mind of his. Who knows what game going pumped in his head. What's Smiley looking for? It's no DQ, Ben. Anything Cer and everything goes. Certainly isn't a chair. Oh, but it's a door. Uh, what, did, uh, what did Jim Ross used to say? Business about to pick up, guys. Business is about to pick up. It's the Queensboro Alex Lodge, home of the doors. Not the band, the actual object. Is it a door? What the, oh, he's got two of them. There's whatever, two. Whatever it is, he's got two of them. Those are doors. Those are certainly doors. Maybe the door to the House of Glory World Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, please forgive us. We don't know what Smiley's doing. He's on the opposite side of where we're sitting right now, but it looks like he's got two cardboard slates. Those are cardboard. Oh, that's what I'm sorry. Wood, wood, wood JD. slates, not cardboard. Excuse me. I'm just blown away here by Smiley's demented mind right now. This is not good. Everybody legitimately is on their feet right now. You have to be kidding me. Smiley going for a pile driver. Reversal. Fighting out of it is Red right hand. Red with that right hand knocks Smiley off the apron. He hits face first on those wooden slates. And you can see how thick those doors are. Smiley now being propped up by Red. Just keep in mind, Red with the vision of his daughter in his mind. The House of Glory world title hanging in the balance. Who knows what this will drive Red to do? JD, someone has to stop this. Ladies and gentlemen, even Zeno, Zeno Jr., our official referee, is trying to coax Red off. And look at that, it might have worked, Shapiro. It's conflicting emotions, you can see it in Red's face. He doesn't want, oh, thumb to the eye. Claw, try to pull that eye out. That's what kindness gets you, JD. That's what emotion, that's what caring about someone does. It rips your heart out. He let the love of his student, Shapiro, get the best of him. He couldn't do it. Smiling, it looks like choking him out. Trying to choke him with his own attire. The amazing Red wearing that tonight, not only to pay homage to his lineage here in the Queens Elks Lodge, but also he knew he was in for a fight. 
Look at this, Smiley. Tombstone possibly. Hangs red out to dry. Nearly sent red into the crowd. German suplex with the bridge. And the title. A millisecond away. A millisecond away from being over. And you can hear a pin drop in this room right now. I think the emotion has gotten to everybody in this building right now. Smiley, Smiley and Red. Where's Smiley not the going? only ones who are feeling it. And Smiley just walked right by us, right to the back. Red. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. Red is talking to Louis Zeno Jr. and he's trying to... Smiley has more hardware. Oh, boy. A steel chair. That's good. Because now, you know, we have doors, why not a chair? Why not? Why not? What's next, a mini fridge? That cold, unforgiving steel chair propped up. Smiley designing a house of horrors here for the amazing red at the Elks Lodge. Double underhook. Please don't tell me. Going for a package pile driver. Red fights out. Hurricane Rana take over with the pin. Two count only. Smiley. Up and over, catches right on the way down. Code red! Code red! What happened? I think Smiley, I think Louis, Louis Zeno Jr. just got misted. He got misted right in the eyes. Is that what happened? Yes, yes, yes indeed. The magical powers of the house again go. Zeno Jr.'s faces. Green, blinded. What a Larry turning red inside out. We have no official though, Shapiro. Well, someone better go get a referee right it. now. Green missed the most dangerous of all the mists. That in the red, the red blinds the eyes. The green acts essentially as like a stunning device, a numbing device. Uh oh. Creates discomfort. Learning that from the great Kabuki, the great Muda. Setting that door up in the corner. And that's not gonna be used for the Jolly Corks Lounge. We're not opening the door. We're going straight through it. Smiley has sick and demented plans here for Red Red. Fights out of it, slides down Smiley's back. Up and over, Smiley lands on his feet. Up top, spinning heel kick there, right to the shoulder blade. Red now, up top. Smiley catches him on the way down. The strength of Smiley. Oh no, Hurricane on a takeover. Big super kick, Smiley's out on his feet. Drops to one knee. Red trying to get this crowd back into it. Rolls through. Oh no, oh no! Oh my God! In the blink of an eye. In the blink of an eye, we may have a new world champion right now. There's no referee though. There is no referee, the amazing red. Amazing red's out. That door is sent, that door is splinters. Smiley dragging Red to the middle of the ring, and here comes another official, finally. On the Steven, come one, two. I don't 
don't believe it. I don't believe it. Just enough time. Just enough time for Red to recover. That could have been muscle memory. He might be out on his feet. That's not muscle memory, Shapiro. There's a reason why he's the heart and soul of House of Glory. He's not gonna let Gang go and get one over on him. This is for his daughter, for the title, Pride. Smiley now. Well, my opinions about Pride are the same as Marcellus Wallace's. So tonight, I really don't think the Amazing Red has a lot left. He may fight, he may be prideful, but every once in a while, you need to realize you've lost. You need to pack it in. You need to live to fight another day. He, his daughter doesn't care about being him being House of Glory champion. She cares about him being able to walk. Red now grabbing at Smiley's shirt, trying to pull himself back up to a vertical base. As he looks into the eyes of Smiley. And these two now. Trading blows. How is Red even on his feet? Big right hand by Smiley. Red follows through with one of his own. This ain't no wrestling match. This is a fight. This is a war. And spring. Right hand. Spinning air kick. Unbelievable. Both men out on their feet. It is broken down here in Queens. Smiley, undoing his wrist tape. Both men now. Red, oh, I thought he was gonna try to choke Smiley. Both men now. I think they're signifying that this isn't a wrestling match anymore. This is a damn fight. They're taking the wrist tape off. No pretense, no cushion. Just two very angry men throwing hands. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, you will find a very difficult time trying to find the type of emotion that is captured in this ring, in this moment, right now. Clubbing blows from each man. Smiley, right hand by Red. Low blow. You seen the hesitation on Red Shapiro? He couldn't throw that right hand. Revenge from civil war. Revenge. I for what? Revenge for what Red did to him. F Smiley looks at his hand in some demented form, some, in, some demented way. He, I think he remember. I, he's remembering. He remembers what that felt like. He remembers his heart being broken. Get going. Wait, wait a minute. Odin and here comes the entire house of Gang going. Smiley delivered that low blow and he backed himself into a corner as if he regretted doing it. Now Gary Bones out here, telling him finish the job. Look at that small package! Small package! Two! Three! Red now being attacked by the house of Gary Cone! The house of Gang Cone. Finishing what Smiley couldn't. Look at Smiley Shapiro, he is beside himself right now. I don't even think he knows where he is right now.
And if Red wasn't dreaming before, he's dreaming right now. Dreams by the waterfall Cancun. Did, did I hear him right, Shapiro? He, he's forcing Smiley to put Red through those wooden slates on the outside. And now Juba being tasked with putting the amazing Red through that door. Lewis and Odin. Oh my God. No way. No! Jesus Christ. Gentlemen, have we seen the end of the amazing run? Is anyone gonna go and check on him? Wait, private private party, private party's out now. Yeah, we got we've got people out checking on checking on red. This sick. Son of a bitch, Anthony Gangone. I don't believe what we just seen here tonight. Don't start none. Don't I don't be believe none. The amazing red wanted to to come after Anthony Gangone, come after the house of Gangone. He's paid the consequences. The show was called Fair Warning and it wasn't a marketing ploy. That right there is a fair warning to any man who dares come near the house of Gangong. Ladies and gentlemen, what a night here at Fair Warning. Unbelievable, the house of Gangong walking off. Relishing in their victory, we may have seen the end of the Amazing Red's career here tonight.